So, I suppose you're wondering how I've been dealing with, uh, with the pandemic. Hey guys, it's Courtney here, and welcome to my collection and what <laughs> has exploded over the past couple of months. My goodness. So, these are all my personal collection dolls. My collection has never been even remotely this big. I think I have 20 dolls in total. Um, that... Like, what you're seeing right now also doesn't include two dolls that I'm currently working on over my studio, which are both I'm planning on keeping. Um, one is Full Body Silicone Jolie by Sylvia Manning. And the other one is Indra Asleep, Reva Schick. She's a full vinyl kit, and whew, she's a pain in the butt to, to paint. I actually wound up assembling her before I ever painted her just because I knew how awful she would be and my gosh she was awful like I'll never do another <laughs> of her again because I just wouldn't be able to take it um but the last time I attempted to paint an Indra and assemble afterwards I wound up literally scratching up my paintwork so bad trying to put her together that I had to sell her as boo boo baby and I was like I'm gonna put her together before I ever start painting her that was probably a mistake too uh, basically, there's no easy way to make this kit, apparently. Um, but she is a pain to paint uh, vinyl because I kind of have to paint her like a full body silicone where she um, had to paint one side of her and then turn her over and paint the other side. But even that's a pain because her joints are a bit more not as hard to... They're, they're easier... They're harder, excuse me. They're harder to control than even like silicone limbs are full body silicone limbs. Anyway, so that's a story in itself, but basically that's two more that are missing from what you see in front of you, including, of course, there's three headless dolls among here, two in the front. Um, of course, we've got Winter and Elize and uh, Emily, Ashton Drake, uh, Welcome Home Emily. Their heads are still being rooted after all this time, yes, they're still away, being rooted. It's been very, very much April, May, June, July. It's been eight months since they've been gone. So hopefully, I'll see them soon. I do miss them <laughs> a lot. Um, but I've been compensating with all the other dolls that I've, you know, getting instead. Okay, so let me back. Let me backtrack a little bit, because obviously I realize that things have gotten out of control. Um, I don't know what's, I know I haven't been able to paint as much. I'm, I'm getting back into painting now. I've missed it and I love it, but I haven't been able to paint for a while due to complications and my studio and et cetera, et cetera. So, um, I think I was kind of compensating for like, normally I'm constantly painting dolls. And even if I'm painting dolls and selling them, I keep them around for a little bit, get to kind of enjoy them, enjoy how they look, uh, the clothes they wear, et cetera, before I sell them on. And I haven't been able to do that. So I've been compensating by getting a lot of Ashton Drake dolls, actually, actually, which I love. I don't even know if I posted this video or not. Um, I posted, um, I think it was honestly like either the last video or one of the last videos I posted that was like in current time. It was me talking about Ashton Drake dolls and how they were a better alternative, like a cheaper alternative to Reborns. Um, because instead of the knockoffs, the illegal, I should say, knockoffs that you see everywhere online now. Um, I make a point of saying that they're a cheaper and better alternative and someone in the comment got really pissy with me and said how dare I call Ashton Drake dolls cheap because she doesn't see them as cheap. I never called them cheap. I called them cheaper. And yes, a hundred and fifty, well between a hundred and two hundred dollar Ashton Drake doll is cheaper than like say a four hundred to six hundred dollar reborn. Just saying. Uh, that doesn't mean that they're, like, bad quality, because they're not. I love Ashton Drake dolls, and here's proof. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, and I also have uh, Ian over the grass. So yeah, I have eleven Ashton Drake dolls. So no, I was not saying that in the least. So sorry you took it that way. I guess um, there was no offense at all <laughs> intended. Uh, anyway, so let me back back track through all that. Gosh, she's so cute. Okay, so this little pumpkin here, this is Ciara. She's like standing out to me. Ciara by Linda Webb. She's actually a rare doll. I don't know if you guys seen the past videos I have of her. She came to me secondhand, essentially as a boo-boo baby. She had uh, no wig. She was on a weird, different body. And she, her eyelashes were hanging off and all that fun stuff. So I wound up, I um, actually need to pull these down. Her eyelashes down a little bit. I wound up getting her a wig finally, um, which this is a mohair wig, so it's nice. Like the the quality's nice. Um, I tried rooting her eyelashes, but like the um, I don't know, like the way her eyelids were, it left this like huge gap, and the thin eyelashes looked really weird. So I actually wound up just putting fake eyelashes, like the actual baby fake eyelashes that they make for dolls. Um, I put them on so they, they look better. Um, oh my word. So I'm going to kind of go, I'll start on this side and I was going to tell you about each one and actually tell if they're for sale or not because I am selling some because I realize that I'm ridiculous. Um, and some I might even am considering selling, but I'm not convinced that I will. So um, anyway, <laughs> so starting back here this little girl oh she's so cute so i had this sculpt or this doll she's actually not really a sculpt. oh she is a sculpt but she's a doll um from masterpiece masterpiece dolls yeah yeah that's right <laughs> masterpiece galleries um she is a puppy p-u-p-p-i doll i had her forever ago um well not forever it's maybe been like a couple years She's back in my channel somewhere. Um, I think she came to me as like really short blonde hair. I wound up giving her red, like reddish hair. Um, and then sold her at some point. I've always loved the doll. And she got so hard to find that I just asked around and said, Hey, does anybody have one still for sale? And Erin, um, a lady I've known for a while, she, on doll fans, she offered to sell me hers. And so I scooped her up. Um, she had like a fiery red wig, which is, was cute, but I wasn't as fond of. I guess I was thinking of like the one that I had previous and I really liked the shorter blonde hair. I wound up getting her a blonde wig and she looks adorable. Um, I renamed her Gabrielle because um, she reminded me a little bit of Gabrielle from the Xena Warrior Princess series. <laughs> Look at that face. She's so cute. Like her haircut and uh, her blue eyes just reminded me of Gabrielle so that's why I named her. Of course you guys know Caroline back there. She is the Angelina sculpt by Romy Stridum sold out sculpt now. Um, she was painted by me, assembled by me. She was rooted by Lazara Brizo. Um, and she was rooted with my hair from my very first like big girl haircut. I think I was eight years old and got my hair cut and that's the hair that she has. So she's very special. I gave her the name Caroline, which is my middle name. So she's kind of like a little mini me and she's got green eyes like me, etc. Next to her is one of my newer dolls. Um, from Ashton Drake, but she is a discontinued. Um, this is the uh, Deshaun sculpt by Lorna Miller Sands. Um, she was much bigger than I thought she was going to be, which I was really glad. So I made her a girl. And um, I named her Alexis, or Lexi for short. So she's a keeper. These three back here are definitely keepers. Um, so next, this little group back here you can see they're not painted yet but these are three sculpts that I hunted down for a while um, some of you who've been following my channel for a while probably remember this sculpt right here it's the Jenny sculpt by Alicia Toner and um, I had this sculpt for a while I think I wound up giving her full knit limbs and I named her Tian um, after a while I started to regret her full limbs and I kind of lost that um, bond. I know some people don't like that word, but you do bond with things that you have. Like, if you don't like that word, I'm not sure what else to say. Just something that you really like and have a thing, you know. So I kind of lost the bond with her. Um, 
after a while. Uh, I remember thinking that I regretted not staying with her original limb, so I hunted this kit down again. Very hard to find. She was a very limited, um, so I paid quite a bit for her, but she's a keeper. Um, she's got her original limbs, so I'll be painting her down the road. These two here, who I've been hunting for them for a good while. This is Mouse Awake and Mouse Asleep with the Mascot Mouse um, by Sylvia Manning. Very hard. Sylvia Manning has only ever made limited edition kits. And so um, it was obviously once they were gone, they were gone. And it was, they were just kind of kits that never really came up for sale secondhand, at least not very much. So I really hunted them down, paid quite a bit for them. Um, so they're definitely keepers. They're going to be my twins. So that's exciting. Um, and I do, I was torn about the mouse mascot. I thought about seeing if uh, Sharon Gregg wanted, because I know that she does a lot of really cute animals, but um, I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of, I kind of like them. And so I kind of want to keep them. And since he's, you know, part of the whole package with them too, I might, I might keep the mouse. We'll see. <laughs> So next to them is Ciara, as I said, Ashen Drake Baby by Linda Webb. Um, I am selling her. I did decide to sell her. Um, she's very similar to, in, in like size wise and everything to my, like my Emily's that I'm keeping. So, and I, I, my Emily's are like, I think I'm keeping all of them for a particular reason. So at this point I'm going to sell her. So she is for sale. Uh, basically asking what I put into her, which is what I paid for her, plus the wig. Um, not even including the eyelashes, because I just had them on hand. So, with all that, um, she's 115 no, I'm sorry, 120 plus shipping. So, if you're interested, she is for sale. So, right here, she's 22 inches long. Uh, I did reweight her, so she weighs at least 6 pounds, I would say. She's pretty heavy, pretty chunky. One-fourth arm, one-fourth legs, very cuddly. She has armatures, so she's can be posed. She's pretty snuggly. Um, really cute baby. Really cute. Like, she's she's hard to let go, especially because I, like, worked on her, too. Okay, so next we're just kind of going down the second row here. This is Celebration of Life Emily. Um, so she's kind of the official awake version of Welcome Home Emily, and whose head is missing currently. Um, I did decide to fight another Charlie, which I happen to have on hand, to steal the limbs. So that way she and Emily um, are official, going to be official twins. When I, get, when I get Emily's head back with her hair, I'll then start painting her so that their colors match and all that. But yeah, she's an official twin. I'm not sure her eyes are so pretty. I'm torn if I'm going to like replace her eyes with glass eyes or what. But anyway, that's her. This is, um, of course, there's Welcome Home Emily, which I'll have to talk about her later um, when I get her back. This is uh, Loving Eyes Emily. And I did decide, because I am still a fan of the original one-fourth limbs, to me, like, they're very cuddly, and I love how the body is weighted and all that. I know a lot of people aren't. They're a little more on the stiff side, but um, I've always been very partial to how um, the original Welcome Home Emily was weighted and um, the feel of, like, the limbs being curled up and the armatures. I think it's really cute and cuddly. So I wanted at least one Emily to have that, and see, that's what I was saying about Ciara. She's built the same way, um, but I loved basically like having triplets um, and technically I have quads which I'll show in just a second um, because yep so we have loving eyes and I haven't been telling you their names have I that stinks um, I originally so Lexi um, I named her um, Deanne I named these two um, Riku and Ike and then um, Jade uh, Cassandra, Emily, I'm keeping her name Emily, this is Jeannie, J-E-A-N-N-I-E, -E, Jeannie, um, and then we have, then we have this guy, which again, you will recognize him, and you'll recognize, um, Emily, which her head is gone, but they were my original twins, which I had named Justin and Juliet. Um, I kind of, like, 
I think this happens when you've collected for a long time and kind of like purge collections and recollect etc but I wanted like newness like I wanted I wanted like an overhaul with my collection which went a little bit overboard there but like I just wanted to start over with some things and some dolls so I wound up renaming um, several of my dolls actually uh, Caroline of course I kept her name because that was important like that's who she was uh, little mini me so I kept her name the same but yeah she was Juliet he was Justin her name is now back to her original sculpt name Emily and then this little guy here is now named Shane Ta -da! so um, and he is completely unreborn not reborn the only thing I did I even kept his original body but I did reweight him that's literally all I've done and he's perfect as is I am thinking I will decide to paint him at some point since I am painting the other Emily's um, but just I mean if you have a chance to get this doll get it this doll is perfect um, the hair is actually really nice it's it is rooted of course it's not like micro rooted but it's it's still rooted down in there and it's a little coarse but as far as like compared to their other you know, like wigs that they have really good quality I really wish I had like bought this doll when it came out um, way back when because if I had known I probably would have bought multiple and I'm like kind of on the hunt every time I see the sculpt come up if I see it come up I'm gonna snatch it because it's such a good doll just FYI so yeah Shane all right next level here of course you guys know Sam this is the lane or the head is the lane sculpt by um, Sandra White but I have him on a little lamb cuddle body so cute so like there's nothing this is just he has no vinyl limbs it's literally just a head and I did paint his hair I don't remember if I showed you guys that or not um, and he was a bit of a boo-boo baby so another reason why I kept him but he's so cute like I just I almost considered selling him and then I just couldn't do it so next we have Charlie or the sculpt is named Charlie I renamed him Emmett he looks like an Emmett. He kind of looks like he's a little, like a little uh, buff, buff guy. Um, I wound up trading limbs with, um, wait, no, because he has one fourth limbs. I wound up trading his limbs with Emily's original limbs, I believe. Um, so the color doesn't completely match. He's definitely more pale and the limbs are a bit more pink, but I am planning on repainting him at some point. I really want to keep him there's just something about him he's so cute and kind of petite and normally Charlie is like a bigger uh, 22 inch sculpt but um, his he actually works really well as a little newborn size baby it's just something about him I find so precious so we'll have to see but I am planning on repainting him at some point he's got a hard head so I probably won't get him rerouted but his hair is actually okay um, and then I might keep his eyelashes as but you can see to do a ball jointed head like this you have to really get creative with the body so even if I sold him you know I'd have to really put a disclaimer that you have to support his head because otherwise it looks weird but anyway I, so again I might just wind up keeping him I don't know this is welcome home baby also by Linda Webb a lot of little Linda Webb babies um, so cute. I've seen this doll reborn a lot, especially recently, and so cute. Like, so, so cute. Um, he's definitely a petite little guy. He's, um, he's still newborn, but he's like a petite newborn size. Um, what I did with him was, when I got him, I'm normally a fan of armatures in Ashton Drake dolls, but his were like really stiff. So I did wind up taking the armatures out of his arms. And so far, I've left him ha as is. Um, I did actually wind up putting him for sale, and he ha he has sold. So I actually have to ship him out. Um, I'm going to ship him out on Monday. So he's already sold. Um, but he, yeah, he's just one that, he was actually a little bit smaller than I typically like. So that's why, he, of my other dolls, I know that he was going to be one to go. <sighs> this one, okay, this is Barely Asleep, also by Linda Webb. This one I'm on the fence because there's something about him that's so endearing and precious. I don't want to sell him, but he is one that might 
go up for sale. Like, I don't know. I just, I like, I right now I can't do it, but maybe in the future. Um, my plan is to repaint him. Um, if he can be repainted, I might. I haven't decided if I'm going to root him or not, even if I repaint him. He might actually just be a bald baby. Like, that might actually be uh, what he winds up being. But, gosh, look at that little face. Anyway, did I say his name? He's Barely Asleep. No, Barely Awake. Not Barely Asleep. Barely Awake by uh, Linda Webb. Then we got Alex. I did keep Alex's name. Wait, is that what I named him? <laughs> Wasn't I torn between some names? Um, but in the end, I wound up naming him Alexios. And um, that's his name that I've kept. Um, so this is Alexios and Alexis. That I call her Lexi. Um, and I usually just call him Alex. But he is the Naomi sculpt by Lorna Miller Sands. Also Ashton Drake. Also another doll that all I did was... Yeah, I did give him a new body and reweighted him. And otherwise he's perfect as is and I love him to pieces. He's not going anywhere. Okay, so, so next we have a Headless Winter by Sylvia Manning. Um, so we're waiting on her head to get back. But she is a partial silicone. She's about 21 in inches long. Um, have I come up with a name for her yet? I know I named her before I... Um, sent her out. I believe this is the, I believe I named her um, I was gonna like possibly wait until she got back, but in the end I was like, eh. So this one um, is Catherine uh, This that's her name. Catherine, Katie, etc. Um, and of course you guys know Asher. You guys know Asher. You know introduction um, Partial silicone also by Sylvia Manning. These two are technically twins. I'm unsure if I'm gonna like put my Jolie sculpt as like a triplet. She doesn't really favor them as much as they favor each other. So she might just be my separate baby. Um, Jolie, if I'm keeping her, I'm naming her uh, Persephone. So, but yeah, her name was already picked out and everything. So she's, I am probably keeping her. Um, next we have uh, another headless baby. This is Elize by Debbie DeGraff. The grave. I never remember how to pronounce that. Debbie, Debbie DG. Um, and she's like a major boo boo baby, which I need to get fixed at some point. I really do. I want her to be, even if like they have to scrape her down and make her a Caucasian baby. I love, I love, love, love her as a darker skinned baby, but, um, and you know what? She's fine. I've been saying that she's just, this is just how she is, and I still love her, which is very true. Um, I guess for me, I just don't, like, want her to get worse and, like, her silicone to have, her, like, silicone itself to have issues. So we'll see what happens down the road. But she's actually getting rooted, too. Um, probably wasn't necessarily the smartest decision to get her rooted when she still has imperfections that need to be fixed. But um, it was just important for me to get her rooted. Um, anyway, her, her name was Evelyn, and I was still thinking of keeping her Evelyn, but the name Elise is also, like, popping in and out of my head, um, so I'm not sure if I'm going to keep her name Evelyn, especially because I have a cat named Evie now, <laughs> so, like, I keep thinking, like, Evie, because that's normally short, I think I was, I called her that sometimes, you know, back when I had her before called her Evie, so I'm like, uh, so I might actually change her name to Elise, I'm, I'm on the fence about it, anyway guys, that is everybody, oh, I guess I should say Indra is my other, um, my, uh, Reva Schick full vinyl sleeping doll, so she's the other one I'm working on, um, and her name, Sorry about that, I accidentally hit a button, uh, like a, a back button on my phone, and it just cut off the video, so that's fun. Um, and I actually wound up messing up, because <laughs> um, uh, her name is not Catherine, her name is Saga. Um, my Indra is named Catherine, actually, so that's that was my name mix-up, so anyway. I just remembered that as I was trying to like 
um, think of Indra's name. I'm like, wait a minute. No, that's Catherine. So many, so many dolls. I mean, how can you keep up with all these children's names? Crazy. I actually did a pretty good job remembering. <laughs> but uh, Anyway. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And tell me who else I need to sell. Because I cannot keep all these. So I'm selling Ciara and Welcome Home Baby's already sold. But I, I guess I really do need to sell another baby. And I don't know who to sell. I love all of them. Like, a lot. A lot, a lot. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> Alright guys, we'll see you in another video very soon. Bye.